So presumably because they have nothing better to talk about, Fox News is harping away on the damage that cancel culture causes to America, and they are choosing to prop up the Muppets as the latest victim of cancel culture. Not because the mob saw an old Muppets episode and vocalized outrage, but because Disney themselves releases a little disclaimer before older episodes of the Muppets. So as Quartz reports, Disney added all five seasons of The Muppet Show to its streaming service Disney Plus on February 19th. The show, which first aired in 1976 and featured characters like Kermit the Frog interacting with celebrity guests, did on occasion include some content a modern audience might find questionable. In one episode, for example, Johnny Cash performed a song in front of a Confederate flag, and so before select episodes, Disney inserted a brief disclaimer warning viewers of that content. It says this program includes negative depictions and or mistreatment of people or cultures. These stereotypes were wrong then and are wrong now. Rather than remove this content, we want to acknowledge its harmful impact, learn from it, and spark conversation to create a more inclusive future together. Disney is committed to creating stories with inspirational and aspirational themes that reflect the rich diversity of the human experience around the globe. So that should be end of story, right? They released older episodes on Disney+, Plus. and they acknowledged that some of this is questionable. I think that's a great way to put it. Um, but of course, that wasn't the end of the story, because Fox News decided to uh, talk about how this is the example that we need to prop up to prove how bad cancel culture is. It's almost as if the individuals who scream about the outrage mob are actually the outrage mob themselves. Curious. So Media Matters put together this um, this little compilation, if you will, of Fox News freaking out about the Muppets, and they juxtapose it with um, other news outlets, CNN and MSNBC, covering real news. Dr. Fauci, 500,000 Americans, families grieving all across the country. Did this have to be? Grim milestone that the U.S. looks like it's going to reach 500,000 deaths. We saw predictions of a death toll around 250,000. We thought it was massive. We thought it was extreme. Now we're hitting 500,000. Staggering loss this morning. We are approaching 500,000 Americans dead from coronavirus. You know, just kind of wondering, like, when is it going to end? You know, the Muppets. I don't remember the Muppets ever being offensive. But here we are, again, cancel culture. Not even the Muppets are safe from the woke crowd. Disney slapping a warning label on the Muppet Show for being offensive. The Muppets have become the latest target. What's the issue? with Ms. Piggy. Senator, uh, we'd like you to weigh in on an entertainment story. Uh, Disney Plus has labeled, I think, uh, 18 episodes of The Muppets. You think we'll have a Muppets commission to look at this? Well, The Muppets are now deemed offensive. The Muppets are now offensive. We're going to dig into that. The Muppets now okay. making that same exact list. Hard to believe this. Even, even the Muppets. The Muppets. All right, so apparently the Muppets are offensive. The Muppet Show. Imagine having a United States Senator on and you ask him about the Muppets. I mean, you have one of the most powerful people in the United States and you're choosing to dedicate time to ask him about the Muppets and this disclaimer that Disney Plus is putting before old episodes of the Muppets. I just, <laughs> the juxtaposition there, it really shows how foolish they look. And it's not like CNN and MSNBC are quality news outlets. These are corporate media outlets. I mean, MSNBC effectively is state media because they do propaganda at the behest of Joe Biden and the Democratic Party establishment. But out of all corporate media, this clip really demonstrates that Fox News is way worse than CNN and MSNBC. Like when we say corporate media, of course, we we say we meaning leftists uh, uh, or we're referring to rather uh, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, Newsmax, and whatnot. But there is a distinction. Fox News is so ridiculous in comparison to like even CNN and MSNBC that they look like clowns. Imagine dedicating that much time to talk about how the mob is canceling the Muppets. That's not an issue. Out of everything that's happening in the country right now, to dedicate even a minute to this nonsense as a supposedly serious news network should show everyone 
that you are fucking clowns. Nobody is actually outraged about this. Have you seen anyone on your Facebook feed or your Twitter complaining about the Muppets? No. But because Disney themselves decided to unilaterally, on their own accord, put this disclaimer, that's evidence that the mob and cancel culture has canceled the Muppets. Like, discourse on uh, cancel culture, I think, has reached its logical conclusion. Like, you can't go further here. It's done. Like, folks like this ruined it. Whatever conversation that uh, was substantive regarding cancel culture before that we were all having, like, this is what it has uh, devolved down to. Where if you just acknowledge that some things in the past are not politically correct or socially acceptable today, that is uh, proof that the outrage mob is uh, destroying everything and ruining even the Muppets. I just... <laughs> I just, I don't know how anyone takes them seriously. I don't know how anyone takes them seriously. If you're truly concerned about cancel culture, there is a plethora of other examples that you can use to illustrate your points. You could talk about BDS, how there is a concerted effort by lawmakers to actually shut down and silence people who support the BDS movement. We can talk about that. You can talk about how this war between uh, Trump and Biden to extradite Julian Assange is a threat to the First Amendment when it comes to press freedom. Because if we act actually prosecute publications for publishing leaks and classified information, that is going to discourage other outlets from publishing the same thing and therefore holding the government accountable. That's a bad thing. You can talk about that. There's a number of things that you can talk about, but instead you choose to talk about the dumbest of all fucking examples, the Muppets. The Muppets. Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> I just... If this doesn't tell you that Fox News is a joke, then um, nothing else will. Between them and Newsmax literally critiquing the appearance of Joe Biden's dog, calling him a junkyard dog who looks disheveled and unpresidential, right-wing media needs to do some soul-searching because it is completely fucking lost. That is evident. They're not talking about, like, small government and, you know, tax breaks for the rich anymore. They're talking about the dumbest things imaginable to where they've effectively become parodies of themselves.